Oh, hey, we're live, baby. <laughs> I started hearing an echo. <laughs> yeah, he likes to do that shit. He tries to catch me off guard. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Rundown Retrospect. Um, today's guest, this week's amazing uh, guest that we have on, is none other than Logic Bomb. Uh, he is a really good friend of mine, Evans, from a way back in yonder year. Uh, it's been about 12 years, 13 years, uh, somewhere yeah, around there. there. Yeah, 13. Um, but uh, we're still we're very excited to have him on. Um, there's going to be some old stories told and um, and some shit talked, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, but with that being said, I am the Hefe Plays, uh, joined by Twizzler803, Big Deadly Grin, uh, and like, like I said, uh, Logic Bomb is with us today as well. So um, how's it going, dude? Chilling, man. Chilling. Glad to not be working anymore. That's the dream. Yeah. Well, no, no for today. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I work yeah. till seven, so. Oh no, that's yeah, that's my dream every day. It's just to, like I, I want to never work. work every day. Yeah, it would be nice, but. Yeah, no kidding. Because working, I don't uh, know that is. Yeah, working gets away from streaming, dude. I, I just call it out of work. <laughs> He's not even going to stream either. Watch. <laughs> I probably won't. Probably won't. Uh, it's awesome. It's been a while, dude. I, uh, I, was, I was hoping to fucking start streaming when I went to the, the morning shift and then work kind of fucked that up because they have this thing that they like to just fuck me over constantly. I think somewhere one of those like terms and conditions that I signed or, you know, like when I updated my iPhone or something, there was a little fucking article that just gave them permission to just fuck me <laughs> as much as I want. Must accept non-consensual sex whenever we say so. Whenever. Yeah, yeah. Because you had an iPhone, you were you were ready to get screwed already. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's very, very fair. Um, all right, so we're, I want to touch on some uh, some really deep background stuff, but before we go to that, let's uh, give us a little bit of uh, an idea about who Logic Bomb is. Uh, just some dude on the internet, really. <laughs> we no, I, I we mean, can I find in the deepest, in... darkest Reddit room. <laughs> no, actually, I don't go on Reddit a whole lot. Mostly for jokes. <laughs> Reddit but, uh, Reddit no, Reddit. I mean, I've I've been gaming since I was a toddler. Um, and I've had pretty much every console ever since. Um, with the exception of a few up until, like, ps3 era i think i had the ps3 and the xbox one and then i stopped buying consoles um that's when i started getting into pc gaming then i found twitch and didn't really watch anybody on it for ever and i don't remember if someone suggested it to me or if it was kind of like of my own volition but i was like i'm already gaming all the time i might as well start streaming that's just yeah. kind of how it happened and I've I've seen a few of these, so I know that's how it is for a lot of people. It's like I'm already gaming, so mm -hmm. why not let other people watch? Right, and I mean, like, and that's like one of the craziest things I've noticed in the last year. Um, not even last year, but like the last six months since I started. But like, it seems that everyone on Twitch started streaming six <laughs> months ago. <laughs> it's yeah. I mean, for me, it's been a little longer than that. Um, I mean, technically, I looked it up one time. My very first stream on Twitch was in, like, 2016. And it was literally one day. And then I didn't stream again for, like, two years. <laughs> and I think that was because the computer I had at the time was definitely not capable of it. Right. So that's why that got put on hold. Um, and then I think probably, like, late 2018 or no. Let's see, we're in 21, 2021 now. I got affiliate about a year ago. So, yeah, probably like late 2019 is when like I first started actually streaming. But like I had no schedule. I was all over the place. I might stream four days in a row and then not stream for a month. Like it was all oh, over. Oh, that's me right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, so when, when people ask me, like when I first started streaming, I, I kind of go back to... Like, I mentioned the fact that I got affiliate back in March, but I didn't really start streaming seriously until we did that Now Live November thing. 
um, which was huge for me because like my biggest problem was having something concrete schedule wise. And, uh, you know, the, the jobs I've had in the past did not help with that either. Cause working right. retail scheduling, it makes it really trick tricky to like set something in stone. Um, but luckily with like the jobs I had over the past year, it's been a lot easier to, to, to create some kind of schedule. Yeah. Um, um then now I have November thing was a cool idea. It was, it was tough. Huge. It was tough, but, um, honestly, it was only tough for me towards the end of the month. Yeah. Like, well, I, I had that, feeling. I had that really bad eye infection. Yeah. In like both eyes. Right. So like, I don't know what happened. It felt like a fucking giraffe just farted in my face. And, like, <laughs> that was, um, so like I was sitting there like one eye and streaming us. It was so bad, but you should, I had a you good should time. Added an eye patch and change your logo. Mm, Done. Yeah. yeah. Wish. In hindsight, right? Hindsight's twenty twenty. Yeah. <laughs> well, not if you only have one eye. Oh right, and it's like what's, what's, I'm not even trying to do the math on that. <laughs> Don't worry about <laughs> it. All right. So, uh, so okay. So, what was uh, the the first console? You said you've been playing since you were a toddler. What was like the first system? Nintendo. <sighs> Yeah, probably the original Nintendo. The first game I have any memory of playing is uh, Contra. Probably. Oh, that's such a good one. Yeah, well, that that and like the original Zelda. Yeah, but I think I played more Contra. I uh, when I had my Switch, I was, they had the uh, the Nintendo Arcade and, and uh, Links to the Past was on there. I was like, yeah, which is my favorite Zelda game. Yeah, um, so good. Uh, but yeah, okay, so and then you just kind of start gravitating after that, just Super Nintendo, then... Yep, um, so basically, like, I, I grew up with my brother um, and my dad, and so what he would do is, like, kind of like a family gift every year, so anytime there was a new console, we'd get the new console. Um, so, you know, we had the Super Nintendo, we had the Sega Genesis, we had a Dreamcast, um, and have a Virtual Boy or anything like that. Um, then we had the PlayStation one and the PS two and then the original Xbox. And then we kind of stayed Microsoft family after that. Um, I didn't get a PS three until I bought one for myself years later. Um, because I think when we met, you were still playing Xbox. Cause I remember coming over to your house and playing gears a lot. Yeah. It wasn't until I moved back to PA that I, uh, finally bought a ps3 and it, it wasn't until like a year and a half two years after i moved back to pa like the ps4 was on its way out mm -hmm. you know to the market when i finally picked up a ps3 yeah so i still remember uh like like evan said like coming over and playing gears and like fucking guitar hero and all rock band. day and rock band yep. and uh halo 3 local <laughs> yeah i did a lot of local matches for uh, halo 3 um that was that was, yeah. I was, uh, was those were good days back in like out in the the garage and in the basement and shit. Yep. Man, I miss it. Man. I miss it. What was that two thousand eight? Yeah, yeah two thousand eight. Well, I think I met you in two thousand eight, and then Evan got added in like six months later. Can we? Can we? Yeah. Can we touch on that exactly how y'all met? Just did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I, I met around like May. May yeah. or June, two thousand eight. Oh, you so so for timeline yeah. timeline constrictions. Um, well, I, I remember I got to Virginia on my birthday. Yeah, two thousand eight. So that's the only reason I remember. Otherwise, I would have no birthday. Right. So like, I met I met this kid named Josh, and he started to think. He and I started to think, and then he had met Sean. I forget where the fuck he picked you up at the beach. At the beach. Right? So romantic. Um, <laughs> Look, I mean, legitimately, I was sitting there playing guitar at the beach, and he like sat down next to me and was like, "Man, you're pretty good. Like, you want to join my band?" And I was like, "Sure, why not? Whatever." So I proceeded to get in a stranger's car, <laughs> and he <laughs> drove me to his house, and we started jamming. <laughs> not a joke. That's literally what happened. Because originally it was just like it was me and Josh, but it was like you know that scene from Brooklyn Nine Nine where it's just Andy Samberg, he's just like. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it sounded like. Well, that's you know that's how good Josh's voice was too. Yeah, I hope he's in here. Um, 
<laughs> I doubt it, but that would be great. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's how I met Sean, and then I met Evan side uh, sideline, like on a different uh, uh, experience, and then brought e Evan into the whole group, and then that's when we created our band, officially the f official band. And well, so, what was like, that band we had in between too, Jeff. We had seventeen bands in between. <laughs> it feels like it sometimes. Because, like, we had the one where uh, we brought in uh, um, Cody for a minute. And then uh, Cody, uh, the kid from Ohio. I don't remember that at all. Oh, uh, damn. Maybe that. Yeah. No, that was. Yeah. It was, that, was, that was right before. Because uh, I remember the band with Josh, which I don't even remember what the name of it was. It was fucking... something stupid he made up, probably. Yeah, usually was. But no, he was been more now. about being fucking broke. <laughs> Got no money, but I'm in the military, but I don't know how to use my money correctly. <laughs> um, I definitely did. I fucked my credit up back then. Yeah, same. And dude. then there was Truth Amongst the Fake, and I thought right after that was from the sky. Yeah, maybe. But no, I remember Truth playing with my buddy Cody. Uh, yeah, I know it was like. Hey, let's put some raspiness behind that. It'll sound really good. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's, that, I mean, that's like a quick little uh, recap of kind of how it went down. Uh, I mean, there's like a million fucking, like, we could do a, a whole podcast series on just the stories that, yeah, that we, we several podcast episodes just on it, the, the bands. So Sean got picked up at a beach and I got picked up at a concert. No, you got, yeah, you almost got picked up in a hallway because I was like, I like I saw you and I was like I'm probably gonna wind up being friends with that kid. I don't know <laughs> how or why, but I will. And then literally like the next day uh, was when we went to um, that bleeding through show. And uh, yeah, and then I've been stuck with you ever since. Yeah. Fuck. You're so lucky, dude. <laughs> I got picked up at an Applebee's. That's true. Just gonna throw that out there. That, that sounds that sounds trashier than getting picked up in a hallway too. Which... <laughs> it was I awesome. was literally kidnapped from a beach, so I think I got you all beat. Uh, we well, got, I don't know, we got Michael and Michelle at Applebee's. We really did get the two for twenty deal. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking three dollar Long Island too. <laughs> oh my god, that's fantastic. Gold. Well, you got to um, think she had an extra person inside of her at the time too. <laughs> Yeah, but you get dessert too with, or no, you get an entree with, uh, or an appetizer with the uh, mm -hmm. entree. So. so it's three for three for twenty. And then we get waters, and then um, we ask for lemon and use the sugar at the table. Um, all right, so Sean, let's let, let's kind of double back a little bit. Um, when so you've always been a gamer, obviously, right? Right. Uh, what was like? What was the that? I mean, obviously you've watched the show a thousand times, so you already know what's coming. But like. <laughs> Because, I mean, I... Oh, my Discord just fucked up real bad. Um, no, you're still here. So, because uh, every answer is... Yeah, every answer is different. So, I just, I'm just i curious to, like, know what um, was the game that was like, hey, this is... I want to play games now. Like, video games are it. Hmm. Rocket League. Um, no, Rocket League's far <laughs> too recent. Um, Rocket League just... I'm just trying to think of like the game that really hooked me in and like I couldn't put down like the first game and I honestly I don't really know. I'm 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 going to say it probably would have been around the Super Nintendo era and it may have been a link to the past. Um there was also another game I used to play on Super Nintendo called Secret of Evermore which oh, usually sure. gets like overshadowed by Secret of Mana. Um, both like action RPGs, but I think Evermore was was a much better game. Um, so like yeah, back then when I was like real young, I was you know more into like the RPGs, the storytelling, whatever. And like for most people, um, you know, gaming was an escape for me. So like those story things, you could really immerse yourself in. And granted, like you look at that now, and you'd say, oh well, that's not immersive because like the graphics were shit and. But like as a kid, it was you know it was huge. Oh yeah. yeah, and we didn't know any better back then either, right? Like right. Better well, I mean, the other, like it's I, easier I to say that. Had... 
comparing games now as opposed right. to that. Yeah. When I had my first Game Boy, um, I had the, I can't, what is it, Link's Awakening that they just remade? Yeah. Um, so I had the original one on not even a Game Boy Color. It was like the original Game Boy. And I remember playing that nonstop. And then, like, I was one of those kids where, like, it was, like, something very, very, like, sentimental to me. So it was, like, always with me no matter what. I remember losing the cartridge at a mall somewhere and, like, being devastated for, like, a solid week after that. Because, like, that was my whole life at, at that point, you know? Yeah. My Game Boy was fucking shit. I remember my, I lost the, the cover for the battery plate, so I had tape going around it on the back to hold the batteries in. You are not the only person. Mm -mm. Uh, I've seen that a thousand times. I I think I even had it at one point. I feel like that's everyone for sure. Yeah. Like, y'all don't know about bad graphics till you played a fucking original Game Boy, dude. The green, all the green. Yeah, I never never really understood that. Mm -hmm. I mostly played the, uh, I had the Jurassic Park game for Game Boy, and I loved that I had that, that too. Even though I sucked at it back then, because I didn't really know what to do, but I could beat the first level, no problem. Yeah. Yeah, I remember playing that. I had, yeah. uh, I had Tetris, Yeah. and that Game Boy stayed in the bathroom, and I played Tetris. <laughs> that shit. Oh, no, mine was always with me, dude. Just like Sean, that mm-hmm. shit went with me everywhere. Yep. Uh, you had the, not- like... You had the little light and the magnifier and yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. I remember, had the uh, light. Remember, I never had the magnifier. Now, do you remember the uh, the old pocket games that were like, uh, like it, the whole thing was just one game, and it was kind of the same graphics, but like, I don't know, it was probably about this big, maybe, maybe a little bit smaller. It would be like a space game or like Ninja Turtles or some shit. And there was like, like it was just that one game. That's all you could do. Do you guys remember that? See, Mr. Meteor so. recognizes the secret of Evermore. Yeah. I mean, I, re- I recognize the name. I don't think I ever played so, it, though. So the games you're talking about, are you talking about, like... Like, like you could, you could go to the toy store. Or were they, like, full-on games? Like, it felt, it felt like they were just a couple levels of a game. But, like, you could go to the store, um, and, like, they would be hanging up on, like, the rack. And they were in a plastic like the card thing. Games and stuff? Yeah. 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 I, I mean, they still got them, but they're way yeah. more advanced, but... Um, oh yeah i remember like oh yeah okay i know exactly what you're talking about I, the ones i saw the most of were like yeah the card game ones yeah yeah i used to get those for like christmas i'd get like a solitaire and i'm like what the fuck what do i want this for <laughs> for yeah. when you're going like to the crapper like a yeah. game in one thing like that where like it was you could beat the entire game in like 10 minutes but there was like mm-hmm. 500 different ones on the console yeah it was, it was like another game boy but you couldn't like add, you know, cartridges and whatnot. Yeah, it was yeah, it's like a it's like Game Boy, but if someone had put super glue in the cartridge slot. It was the Wish looking. version. The we said the fucking Wish yeah. version. The funny thing is they still make stuff like that on Wish. Like knockoff yeah. witches that have like they're just ROMs basically. Yeah. <laughs> Emulators. Uh so uh, let me I, i'm curious because uh, i know you're gaming a lot nowadays uh do you still have time for music <laughs> not really yeah I, I wish i did but like so i work part-time i go to school full-time um i game full-time i stream full-time so i basically have like three full-time jobs yeah. and then a part-time job on top of it so like yeah music's kind of taking a back seat right now um i still have a guitar i mean it's sitting right next to me but i uh i don't really have time like a lot of times i'll i'll pick it up and i'll jam for like 10 minutes before i get onto game or something but i haven't like written anything really yeah it's about mine's just been sitting collecting dust for yeah Dude, the last time i saw you play that it was like four years ago we were drunk at alex's house when you lived with him Oh yeah, and you were like sitting there trying to figure out how to play Emily again. I could never play it sober. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, so I mean that I, I can see how like yeah, music would take a back seat. But um, what are you going to school for? Software engineering. How you liking that? Um, I I like the the course material. It's just it sucks like 
because my school, regardless of the pandemic, my school is 100% online. Mm-hmm. So it's it's tough. Um, and, you know, in a way, I've, like, I've kind of got some sympathy for, like, the kids that are stuck doing online school now because, I mean, for them it's a little different because you're still in a classroom setting. You're still in a video call with your class and whatever, whereas for me it's, like, it's just me. So it's very isolating. And it's, like, yeah. not even so much, like, to, to bounce off ideas off of other people that were that are in my class but more so just like to have somebody else to talk about it with it's it's very isolating which makes it really hard to stay motivated so like that's where streaming has actually helped because like it's generally kept my mood higher which allows me to stay more motivated and and you know pushing through school how much uh how much longer do you have um so this semester ends at the end of the month my my semesters run different than most school um but my semester ends at the end of this month and then i have one one more semester and then like a partial semester do they do like the 11 week thing no it's there's six month semesters but the thing is basically whenever you apply and like everything goes through and you're approved you start the first of the next month and then your semesters run six months from there so you could literally start at any time oh so it's not like overall school semester is just your individual semester correct okay that's that's kind of cool yeah. yeah well and the other cool thing is my school is competency based which means that like there's a, a minimum number of credits that i have to get every semester but if i finish that and i still have like say two months left i could accelerate and take more classes from you know later on in the the program so that i can finish earlier because this is a bachelor's program but with the classes that transferred from my associates which was basically just my gen eds and the little bit of accelerating I've done, I'm basically getting my bachelor's in three years instead of two. I mean, instead of four. That's yeah, pretty dude. dope. Yeah. I got so my associates and I was like, I, I'm i fine with never going back to school ever again. See, I, I jumped uh, I jumped full time into a bachelor's program and then the school shut down. So <laughs> was <laughs> so there it's, I'm asked out of an education. <laughs> Nothing's transferable either because it was a. What uh, were you going for? Oh fuck! Fashion marketing and merchandising. Interesting. I yep. would have pegged. Je- I would have pegged Evan for more of that. Yeah, that, yeah, you should. I don't know if anybody else remembers, but you no, know, because he got I me was, in that fucking program. Yeah, I was in there too, but then I left that school, uh, and went back to the previous school I was doing to work more on my business degree. Mm. Uh, so I finished that out. Oh, that's fine. My di- my diplomas on the or my degrees on the wall. I just it know was- everybody and their brother goes for business, and nobody ever really uses it because everybody well, tells I- them it's a good fallback, and it's really not. Yeah. Well, I figured it would work. It would. It would. I could either use it for something that I want to do on my own, or it'll also help me in terms of getting new positions at my current job that I hate. Right. Um. So it, in a sense, it could be a fallback. Yeah. Which- which which direction it's i'm gonna fall back on uh, i don't know but yeah yeah i mean the part of the reason why i went for software is because um after i got my associates i had a job working for train the hvac company doing controls and um i got laid off and i had a really hard time trying to find a job uh after that because i was trying to find something around that pay with like solid Monday through Friday day shift hours and like there was nothing there. Yeah. Like, and like the thing being is for, a normal person. Yeah. For my electronics degree, most of the jobs required travel and I wasn't really willing to be, you know, a, a road warrior. So that kind of went nowhere. Um, and then talking to one of my other buddies, um, you know, he was like, well, how come you don't get back into programming? Cause I took a lot of it in, in high school. And so I started just messing around and uh, made my first Discord bot. And uh, it kind of went from there. Then I started, like, taking some more classes online just, you know, on my own free time outside of, like, an actual school. Mm -hmm. And uh, it kind of developed from there. And I was like, you know, I I could see myself going back to school for this. Because the other thing I thought of is, you know, I graduate with my bachelor's. I get a job working for some company doing software if i get laid off and I, I i now have the skills to where i could freelance i could do you know websites for people or build like small apps for people or whatever and 
at least get by while I find, you know, something a little bit more secure. Makes sense. I mean, got to plan ahead somehow, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm curious too. Like, okay, so I want to get back to on the streamer side a little bit. Um, so you've been streaming off and on for five years. <laughs> we'll say two. We'll say two. Uh, two. Um, so were you always Logic Bomb, or was that something in the? No, I've had about on? seventeen different usernames. Hell yeah, dude. Was it was it like uh uh that your crazy Xbox gamer tag back in the day? Like uh no, your first no, I never used that. I never used that for Twitch. Um, no, the thing was like I, for me, when it comes to like your online handle, your persona, for me, it should be something that's like, it it's got to sound cool because it you know you want people to to be attention you know ha have their attention grabbed by it mm -hmm. but it also should mean something to you as a person and so we'll get into the story of why logic bomb fits both of those um but like i don't know uh, there there's a ton of them that i've had but like for one for instance like uh i was sky bear for a while and like i even had a logo made from you know a friend of mine that does graphic design and like it was cool but like I thought the name sounded cool, but it didn't really mean anything to me. And then I, uh, I was renaissance for a while, which, um, had the opposite effect. I thought like, you know, it had some meaning to me, but it didn't really sound like it didn't roll off the tongue. Well, right. And then so, what was it called again? Renaissance. Renaissance. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like the word nascent, but with R E at the beginning. Okay. Um, but, like I said, it didn't really roll off the tongue well, so you know nobody really, nobody really ever dug that, myself included. Um, right. And then we kind of games is always the hardest thing for me to do. It's so yeah. difficult, like you know, from the sky, for instance. Yeah, I that just started. Like, like, it, was, it. it was an okay name, but it was just more like we need a name, and this one doesn't sound like complete dog shit. That verb the noun, right? Yeah. You know, we could have been too pregnant here. to party, but we weren't. I uh, know. I wonder what they're doing nowadays. I don't know. Probably, Probably. accounting. <laughs> Probably. That was uh that was a that was a good time in life though. Like we had a oh, lot yeah. of fun. Um yeah. yeah. Too much fun. Yeah. All right. So for everybody in chat that doesn't know, um uh Logic Bomb, Big Deadly Grand and myself were in a, a post hardcore metalcore metal oh, no, whatever God. band uh back 20 or 2008 9 era um and we played all these local shows and actually we opened up for a lot of really fucking big bands um which is really cool and motionless and white opened up for us technically mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah dude i didn't think about that because they were they were supposed to be like the supporting act for he is legend but they were like nah we don't want to go on right before them so we're gonna go before you i was like all right but that was before anybody knew who the hell they were yeah they're still when, a, they were, when they were good yeah they're still in a 15 passenger van they're they're full yeah. they're they're full length to just come out um no it wasn't even full length it was their yeah. ep yeah it was their yeah. Uh, ep um so that was, that yeah and we fucking jammed the shit out of that uh, I put it on every now and then, dude, just to kind of like I bring my, myself back. my stream playlist. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I remember, like, uh, we were all heading... was my shit, dude. But yeah, um, uh, we would always jam it out in uh, Matt's truck. He had this uh, jacked-up Toyota Tacoma, and four out of five of us would ride in the truck with, or no, I was, well, most of the times, all five of us. Drums loaded up in his camper, guitars stuffed in there, amps in the back as well it was just a fucking nightmare dude um but it was worth it man i had like i still have so many fond memories from back then um yeah he sends me snapchats every now and then of him rocking out to like lamb of god or job for a cowboy protest the hero blood brothers i'm just like yes dude yeah um i still remember the mcdonald's snack wraps we used to get all the time yep i was you know it's funny i was just thinking about daily, the other dude. day <laughs> Two snack wraps, medium fry, and a medium Dr. Pepper. Yep. yep. Every day. Same damn order. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and we uh see, shit we started out practicing at your house sean uh yeah right? it didn't work yeah. so well yeah no uh then we moved to a storage unit up like off jefferson i think right uh, and yeah, then yeah and then we moved to the one in virginia beach then we moved back to the storage unit again because we had that little practice space for about a month where we're like hey You're talking about in the studio yeah in this in the studio one. Like, hey, hey, hey. You can come practice here, but it's smaller than the storage unit you're used to practicing in. Uh, yeah. Remember, remember, Terrence took that took the seat out of his fucking vehicle, the back like row, oh, out yeah. so we could load our shit in to a show, and like he took it out in the studio, and never got it back. <laughs> yeah, because we're like, fuck this dude. Hey, first of all, hey guys, uh, heads up, if you're in music and uh, you're looking to get signed, um, don't pay for it. Because that's not how that works. That's not how that goes. Um, and we were like, hey, we need we need studio space. We need like professional recording. And I don't know who found this guy or where he came from, but uh, it was a rap. It was a rap studio, and like he gave it. I he, remember how I remember how we found him. Oh, who was he it? Found what, us. Did he? He 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 happened to be at the storage unit the one night and heard us practicing. Okay. Oh my god. Dude. That's it. All right. He's like these guys seem gullible enough to pay me a shitload of money for no reason. <laughs> he made us like shit shirts too. Like they weren't good. I don't even remember yeah. that. But it's oh, yeah, I remember, yeah. they, I remember they were shit. Like, like I saw them and I was like, nope, this the isn't the movie. front was the front was blasted with like endorsements from whatever and then uh then our logo was on the back. And all he had were like large through triple X. Had no smalls or mediums. And uh, we're like, this isn't. I must have blocked that trauma out of my head. Yeah, yeah good thing you did. Funny. And then, and then he came up to us with like a set list of like songs he wanted us to cover. Yeah, did you ever learn that current that corn song? Uh, didn't he want us to play like Freak on a Leash or some shit? Some shit. And no, no, there were no, the, and the, maybe. And then the one we did decide that we were going to cover was uh, uh, Lincoln Park. Um, but we just never did it because we were like, no. fuck that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, the guy was a fucking maniac. Um, so glad we hit the eject button on that. Um, but yeah, and then we had, you know, had some really good shows after that. Um, Shout out to Gil. Gil's Bar and Grill in Virginia Beach, Virginia. <clears throat> I, we that was my vocalist favorite like fall Virginia. through somebody's amp. I would have yeah. liked that place way more if I wasn't 19. Yeah. I was, yeah. Oh, you were just a baby back then. I know I had to fucking drink before the show. Yeah, I and I never like I've never. I don't do a lot of sober <laughs> streaming. I also didn't do a lot of sober show playing. Either. Um, so like, there's one video and, and I'll, I'll never forget this night. It was our first. No, it wasn't our first. Night. It was pregnant to party show, and uh, I think I just gotten the new guitar. And then like we went in, and I was like, oh fuck, we go on soon. So I go and order like two beers and I just slam them right after one right after another and then go up on stage. So good. I remember taking shots of cough syrup before the show. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> that, I, only, yeah. I only screamed in like two songs <laughs> and I was like, I can't do it without the cough syrup. <laughs> um, so let's uh, let's go. Michael's um, just sitting here like I don't know. I have no input for this at all. <laughs> I know. I know. <clears throat> Um, so, uh, you, you've gotten a pretty, uh, pretty good following on, on Twitch so far since you've gotten into it. So, so full time. Yeah, um, all right. Uh, I mean, you're part of a team, right? Or, or is that your team um, or how does that work? No, not really. So, so I'm trying to think of like when it actually happened. I think it's probably going on five years now. Um, I met a couple buddies in, well, I met one guy in rocket league. Um, so like right after it started. Uh, I think we were playing Snow Day, uh, which is the hockey mode. And, you know, it was one of those things where, like, we seemed to have some chemistry. So we decided, okay, we're going to get in a voice chat. Except that was back when Discord didn't exist. So we were on TeamSpeak. And so I joined his little community. There was, like, 10 of us there, maybe. Um, and then shortly thereafter, Discord came out, and we all migrated to that. And it's kind of been history ever since. Um, when we started, we were at, like... 
10 people, 10, maybe 15. Um, now there's in the collective, which shameless plug, uh, <laughs> there's the collective. There's, I don't know, 400 ish people in there. Um, for a while, like there was, there was a couple guys that were running an arc server through the, you know, through us. Um, and if I not, if I'm not mistaken, it was like the top arc server out there for a while. And then it just kind of died. So a lot of those people are still in there. Um, there's definitely not 400 active members in that, in, right. in the collective, but, um, a lot of good people. Uh, and then we found IGL, uh, indie gaming league, which is the, the it's an amateur competitive league that I play for, um, they have a bunch of different games, but I joined because of Rocket League because it was like, I'm definitely not at the level of the pros, but I want to be able to compete in something more than just, you know, ranked mode. Um, so that's when I found IGL and I've been with IGL for like a year and a half now. And literally after the first season, I was like, I'm going to pay the yearly membership and I'm going to start like a franchise for the collective. And that's what we've been running with ever since. Um, it's, it's not cheap but it's not expensive either, but like it gives us a little bit more control over, you know, stats and keeping an eye on our teams and that kind of thing. So it's definitely helpful to be that. So technically I'm the franchise owner for our, our IGL franchise, but the collective as a whole is, doesn't really have an owner. Me and the one other guy kind of run things, but we don't like to say that we're really owners because as the name implies, we're a collective. Right. And you're about to do, I don't know if, how much info you want to put out on it, because um, I know you did an interview a couple weeks ago um, with him. Uh, about oh, the, I'm willing uh, to talk about it. Okay, yeah, because, I, I mean, it's super cool uh, the way that it's going about. But, yeah, tell us about uh, the, the drop you got coming. So I'm trying to think of when we started talking with Equip Studios about that. But anyway, just to so, so it's not, you know, vague to everybody listening, um, we're doing jerseys. Uh, we've got two different color schemes and both in short and long sleeve, um, whatever size people wanted. We started talking to equip studios, maybe October of last year, just kind of starting the conversation. Um, and then started getting the ball rolling, like basically January 1st, like we already had everything worked out with them. And then we announced it to the collective, like, Hey, we're doing these jerseys. Um, and actually, they had sent us a picture uh, about a week ago of, like, the first, literally the first jersey that they made in production. Um, and everything is on schedule as of right now. So people should have jerseys in hand end of this month, early next month. And awesome. it, was, it was a huge turnout. Like, I was expecting so, – so the way – and I would assume most most Jersey companies and whatever do it the same, you know, you have tiers. So like if you order a certain amount, then each Jersey is cheaper. Um, so basically what we were trying to do is get the price point down to what we did. We needed to sell at least 20. We weren't sure we we're going to be able to do that. Um, or was it 10? Maybe it was only 10. Um, but we wound up just shy of 40 orders that's awesome now, granted a lot of people order more than one but still like 40 jerseys right. for a first run you know of something like that it was i'm i'm still kind of in shock on the fact that we've had that many jerseys ordered yeah that's so that's so amazing though but um what so why jerseys though like why not like uh t-shirts or hoodies or gotta get those well, we have all of that already <laughs> oh okay yeah <laughs> Um, hence my hoodie. Um, we also have shirts. Honestly, I don't even remember what's on the merch store. Um, but we started a merch deal with cookie cut t-shirts, um, which is run by drunk cookies. Who's another person in IGL. He's one of the admins there. Um, and he started doing screen printing on his own. So kind of a mutual mutually beneficial relationship there where he gets the word out a little bit more and we have, you know, a partner for, for merchandise. Um, and that's how you do it for your personal merch too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, 
but it's it's been great because as far as I know, we get a better cut of the profits through him than we would through like Streamlabs or something. Um, plus, we know, you know, we're helping him out. And yeah. like the T-shirts, he screen prints himself. Like the one that Jeff's wearing. <laughs> um, so the jersey thing was more like there was a slight demand for it in our community because of IGL. You know, pe- people figured, okay, it's not like real esports, but it's still esports. So, you know, every esports team has a jersey. So why don't we have one? And we asked around the community a little bit, and it seemed like there was, you know, a decent amount of people interested. But like I said, there was no way we were expecting to get almost 40 orders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. I mean, they look super cool, too, and the, the quality seems there. And, and the guy's really passionate about it. So these are going to turn out yep. really well. They make you look ripped. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's partially the design and partially the fact that the guy that I did the interview with who runs the place. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, literally, he's literally wearing it in the gym. <laughs> uh, I just canceled my gym membership, and I have no regrets. That's because you don't have a jersey yet. You should have bought a jersey. Now I'm yeah. trying to lower my budget as much as possible, so when I do quit my job, it'll be a smoother transition. Just trying to get it down, what, $17 a, a month? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm almost, I almost have it under 400 bucks a month. That's incredible. Like, teach me your ways. Pay your truck off. That helps. Oh, oh yeah. I spend a month. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, now that's not including like child support, though. So that's just wow. like my normal shit. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, yeah, I would love to try pay the truck off for them. But yeah, I keep buying fucking streaming shit and. So. <laughs> I remember your blazer. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Where, where you couldn't let off the gas because the fuel injector was messed up. Yo. Uh, so oh, funny no. story. I got no, that no. fixed. It wasn't the blazer that had that problem. It was when you had the 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 Chevy. No, the Cobalt. The yeah. Cobalt car. Um, yeah. So I sold that to my buddy, paid that off, and then um, had the blazer. I got out of the Navy, went home. And, uh, like when you get, when you get it done with the Navy, like they don't pay you anymore. And, uh, ain't that some to, shit in here. Yeah. Uh, and then trying to get a job was fucking tough. So, uh, guess who got a repo? Ha <laughs> this guy. Oh, me, too. me too. Yeah. Um, and so, and I have one more payment left on that thing. So yeah. Am I salty? Yeah. A little bit, but, um, it's all good. Cause I'm not salty you know, reaper. No. No. Who's that? Oh, that's a, that's a touch. Uh, <laughs> Any part of Tosca? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, well, that's like, like I know it's in that thousand network. members in that community, so it's getting bigger every day. Um, uh, but yeah, so uh, got rid of the blazer. But yeah, a lot of lot of memories in that motherfucker too, dude. Um, yeah. So. Uh, so now you, you you got the collective going, um, you, you know the IGL, uh, you got jerseys going. So much has, has happened in your streaming career. What's been a defining moment? What, what's what's going to live rent free in your head for the rest of your life from, from Twitch? And after that, I, what's I think, next? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was that. That's actually the question I was expecting. Um, uh. No, I, I think. I think honestly, it was getting my third payout Mm. from Twitch. Wow. Um, Because my first one was in July. And like I said, I got affiliate back in March. So it took me from March to July to to amass a hundred plus dollars in my Twitch account so that I could get a payout. And then from then, I didn't get my next one until um, December. But I've had a payout every month since then. And so that's why I say my third one, because it was like to go six months for my first and then almost another six months for my second. And then to get another one like the next month, it was like, okay, maybe this is something that I should take a little bit more seriously. And that's why I say that, like, I didn't really start taking Twitch seriously until now live November, because like the the amount of growth just in that month that my channel had was more than the entire rest of that year. Hmm. 
So it was like, okay, this is, this is something I really need to, you know, put some effort into. And I've, I'm constantly, constantly looking for ways to like improve my channel, new things to add to it. Um, just to keep people entertained and, and coming back. Um, mm -hmm. And as so, far as like what's next. Yeah. I was about to say like, I, cause I want to know, like, not just like stream stuff, but like, you know, Twitch career. I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, like, like anybody on Twitch, like it would be great to hit partner at some point in my life, but it's not, yeah. it's not top on my priority list. It'd be nice. So, so the way I see Twitch right now is like, it's supplementary income. You know, mm -hmm. so like I remember back in January, it paid for my first month of health insurance with my new job. So like just the fact that I have that extra source of income to do something like that is is good for me. And um, I'm going to keep growing, but I don't have like set metrics of, you know, what I'm putting myself against for for a couple of reasons. Really, one, because. Like I said, it's not top of my priority list. I want to finish school. I want to get my own place again and, you know, get back on my feet and be 30 something, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and partially right. because like, I don't want to take the chance of setting unrealistic goals for myself and then burning out because of it. And then wind up, winding up, you know, worse off than I was when I started. Right. Yeah. Um, so is, is there any like uh, cool uh, channel stuff that you got in the works that you're maybe? Um, to... So there's there's a couple collabs that I'm like, there's one that's, you know, got the the other people I'm doing it with already like set in stone. It's just a matter of organizing things. And because of the fact that my semester ends this month, uh, I've kind of put that to the side for for a bit so that I can finish school for this semester. And then I'm going to dive back into that. And then uh, me and another buddy of mine who streams are planning a 12 hour stream um, where each hour we have a different streamer on with us. And basically we're going to play um, whatever their favorite game is, whether hmm. we like it or not. That's so really cool. Basically 12 different streamers for a 12 hour stream. So um, it's just a matter of figuring out the logistics of that. So that's kind of like, definitely in the pipeline but there's there's not even like really any details other than what i've just told you i, I want to so be a part of like, that yeah i was just curious like are, how are you guys going to like is it a like a sign up list or is it people that you're going to choose like well that, that you prefer so, so basically the way we were doing it is picking people to to ask you know if they want to do it uh -huh. and yeah you know the other difficulty with something like that is like for me the optimal 12 hour stream is like 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. So trying to find people to fill those like early morning slots towards the end of the stream is, is going to be the tough part because not a lot of people stream that late. Well, do you have any uh, UK people in, in the collective? Not not really, no. I mean, I've we've got a couple people, but none of them are really like big enough streamers or streamers at all. I gotcha. That makes I mean... Sense. Well, I know, I know, uh, Evan will probably uh, be up at some point for yeah. one of those. We we might be we we might be. Uh, well, it depends on when that goes down because supposedly uh, a month from now I should be going to the morning shift. There you go. Supposedly, but I mean, hopefully, finally. Yeah. We'll we'll figure it out. Like I said, yeah. we we've got twelve slots, so. Sounds yeah, awesome. Yeah. I like that concept. I've flirted with the yeah. idea of a 24 hour stream, but I, I just don't think I can, I don't think I can handle that. I'm not 19 anymore. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I, I thought I didn't want to do a 24 hour stream, but like Michael and I did a 12 hour and it felt like it flew by. Up. Yeah. It was like, like we, it, we it didn't even our feel like it was six hours. Like, yeah. I was like, dude, I could go for another six hours easy. Yeah. See, it was weird to me because like I, pretty routinely was doing like eight, nine hour streams. So I was like, oh, it's well, going to be no problem. But towards the end, it definitely got a little rough more, more so because it was like, I'm super indecisive. Like I consider myself a variety streamer, but it was like, all right, well, what do we play next? Cause I'm not also, I'm also not one for like planning that kind of stuff out. 
Like, right. obviously, if we're going to do the 12 streamers, it's going to be planned out because it's going to be based off of what they want to play. Mm. But just doing like a regular 12 or 24 hour stream, it's like, all right, what do, what do we do for 12 hours? Yeah. Like, I remember I did mine and like, the, what it, I would have been fine, but because my schedule is so fucked, like, to do that, because I'm like, like I'm a nine to fiver, obviously. So mm. um, I'd already been at work that day. I'd gotten home and then I was just chilling. I was like, I'm going to do a 12 hour. So I literally was already up from 6 30, 7 o'clock that morning and then went through and did a stream until six o'clock the next morning. So, I mean, technically it was, I was awake for 24 hours. So, uh, right. And then I, di- and then I died for like <laughs> a couple of days. Hours. <laughs> yeah. We, we played the division for pretty much the entire 12 hours. And mm-hmm. yeah, I think I, I woke up cause I got off work the night before went got home went to sleep and then i think just rolled straight into the stream Mm -hmm. and again it it didn't even feel like 12 hours it felt like you know six eight max well actually when we did our 12 hour this past it was like two weeks ago now um we we tried that new like amazon watch party thing oh yeah but it's the execution is kind of weird for that thing nice idea on paper huh yeah like it's because you have to have prime like to watch it obviously um and not everybody has it it doesn't work on mobile so you have to be on a pc and that's really the that's really the big killer for that because people who are watching your twitch on mobile can't participate so they just see a full face cam like you guys see now and me like talking about the movie or laughing or whatever you know what i mean because like it's a watch party so you're not expected you know the streamer to be talking a ton because you're watching the movie right but then at the same time like anybody who's watching on mobile is like why is he just sitting there you know <laughs> like <laughs> yeah yeah um, kind of yeah sean i know you gotta get out here in a few minutes um if there's any questions in chat let them uh you know rattle them off now um after this, I'm going to be in, if you're part of the Discord, I did post the link. Uh, I will be in post-show hangs, hanging out for a little bit. Uh, if anybody wants to come in and ask some questions or uh, whatever the case might be, I'm pretty sure Evan's going to hop in. I don't, Michael, you can hop in? Uh, yeah. Um, we'll just hang ask out. Some, if you guys... Talk some shit, whatever. We can yeah, do some you, drinks. Yeah, if you got... If, if you yeah, want, yeah. I can stream my Brawlhalla match in that channel, and you guys can watch me get destroyed. Yeah, I mean, whatever you want to do. Um but yeah, if you guys have any more questions in chat um, for for Logic Bomb, uh, let us know. Um, thank you so much for being here, dude. Um, I'm glad we could of get course, you in. Man. I know it's, I know it's been a while um, trying to get you on, but uh, schedule's cleared up. So uh, yeah, took it first, soon uh, the quickest advantage I could. Um, so. Uh, one the one question that we got to do and we do it with everybody <laughs> the game that you thought you'd love but you hated and the one that you thought you hate but you love all i can say is i'm glad that i've seen this before because i knew that question was coming um honestly the game i thought i would hate but i loved i'm gonna have to say valheim because all the games that other people compare it to i fucking hate I hated Ark. I hate Ark, dude. I'm I'm not a. What's the other one that a lot, a lot of people say it's like Minecraft? Um, like there's there's a lot of games that people compare it to, and I'm like I don't like any of those games. But I was like, but I like Vikings. Yeah. And I watched some gameplay, and I'm like, that looks kind of interesting. And I was like, it's only twenty bucks, so like, what's the worst that could happen? And like, right. I bought the game. I streamed that night and the next night, and between those two nights, I put fifteen hours into that game. Damn. And I was like, I'm, oh, I'm starting to like it. I, I played today for the first time, like with another person. And it it's super fun. I will warn you, there is a huge, steep difficulty curve with that game. Sweet. So just, just be forewarned. Make sure you're prepared going into battles. Yeah. So and, I ju- we just beat the first boss on mine. Yeah, the first boss is cake. yeah we did a, a few tombs. Um, and I, I just built like my smelter and, uh, kiln and like all that shit. So we're getting me ready for all that. He's bringing stuff from his Island. He's like, here, here's stuff. And like, he's helping me out. So, so little, little short anecdote. We, we built all the stuff to go fight the second boss and 
the two locations that we had for the second boss were like miles away. Like you start in the center of the world. Oh, mine's pretty close actually. He, oh, he was, was in my world and he's like, dude, you're lucky. All your shit's like really close. Yeah. And I have like, he likes my world mm -hmm. right now. So, so you always start dead center of the world. And both of the elders that we found locations for are like halfway to the edge of the world in different directions. <laughs> No, and mine's like if you a, played the game, you know how huge that map is. Like, if you were to yeah. walk that distance, it would take you a good 30 minutes of just running through the game. Is there no, no uh, like land travel stuff, like horses or anything? Or so, no, not that I found yet, at least. Um, oh. it's still early access though, too. I, you know, water travel, if you can build the second boat, is, is fairly quick, but. So that's what we did. We built the second boat. We're like, okay, we're going to go to this location. And along the way, we see some animals, monsters, whatever, that look like goblins. So we're like, all right, we'll take them out on the way. And we get, we dock the boat. We get on the island. And one of us got hit by one of the goblins. And we went from like 100 health to like 15 on one hit. And we're like, oh, fuck, we got to get out of here. And in the meantime, we see this giant mosquito, which I had remembered from the patch notes is called a death mosquito. And I'm like, we probably should not get near that. Didn't matter. It chased me down and literally from full health, I died instantly. And I was like, all that work is just gone. So we were like, okay, it sucks, but we're going to go back. We're just going to grab our stuff and leave. We didn't have all our equipment, so we couldn't build another like second tier boat. We build a raft. So the raft goes super slow. So this is like super sluggish trying to get out there. We get about three quarters of the way there and we get attacked by a sea monster. And we, <laughs> died. And we didn't play again for like a week after that. We were like, no, that's enough. So the game is pretty unforgiving in certain areas, but it's still fun. And there are, yeah, I'm having a blast with it, man. There it are sounds ways like a time to get your stuff back. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Um, but back to the question, the game that I thought I'd love and hated, you know, I did think about this ahead of time and I had an answer for this and now I forgot what it was. Um, well, shit. Probably destiny. Which the first one or the second one? the second one i didn't really play the first one um okay. that's a little more, more fair there's there's just like 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 you had mentioned before on paper it sounds amazing but like just playing it it just felt stale the whole time mm -hmm. yeah and so i do remember when the when destiny 2 first came out like the game was fine but the there was no incentive to do anything and that was a major problem when it first came Actually, out. Now there's, there's incentive to do shit, but it's just too fucking much. Now I remember yeah. my original answer to that was going to be Skyrim. <laughs> oh, really? I, I, I cannot stand Skyrim. And here's I why. Love I, Skyrim. I love I love RPGs. And granted, I don't play them as much anymore because you got to um, you got to like. Definitely devote some time to it. And I'd rather like jump from game to game and RPGs don't really allow you to do that too much. Right. Um, but the reason I don't like Skyrim is because it's open world to the point where like, I don't feel like I have any direction. There's just too much to do. And so I don't do anything. Oh yeah. It's overwhelming. Yeah. yeah. So I like, I like RPGs where you have like a genuine sense of direction with, with Skyrim. It's like, there's way too much side shit to do. And like sometimes I just want to focus on the main quest, but then I have like this anxiety, like I'm leaving all these side quests behind, and it just I don't know, it makes me yeah. hate the game. So I generally I, I, don't I hate I've, games that make you choose like your dialogue options affect the story. I yeah. don't like that because I'm really mm -hmm. indecisive. And usually like when I read the choices, it'll be like, you know do this or do this and i'll pick the one that makes sense but then like what they end up saying isn't anything like oh i hate that the option read out and you're like well what the fuck is that and i hate it i don't yeah. i don't like that at all like just have a fucking story for me to follow i don't want to you don't like story. mass effect mm. yeah i enjoy mass I'm effect a huge fan of it either so it's fine like <laughs> is it weird that i enjoy 
Mass Effect, but I don't like Skyrim. Mm -hmm. I don't like I don't no. like any of the Elder Scrolls. Very stuff. different games. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean Very like as far settings. as like dialogue like dialogue choices and stuff like that goes. I, mean, I don't I don't like that. Especially the first Mass Effect. I mean that was basically a visual novel. Right, yeah. Um, I mean that was that was really my only that, but... that was really like my only complaint with Cyberpunk was the dialogue. I, I don't want to sit there and do dialogue for 15 minutes every time right, go play final fantasy I, if you want to do that yeah, and if i make yeah. a wrong fucking choice then i just omitted a portion of the game that i can't do you know because yeah. of the choice that i made and it that gives me anxiety and i hate it <laughs> um yeah it's it's i i get it though um skyrim's like it's tough oh you're I awake like it. i also don't like it when there's like different like guilds and i have to pick one yeah <laughs> i don't i don't like that either <laughs> you know? i like to be a part of everything i'm popular like in skyrim they were like do you want to be a vampire and i'm like fuck yeah and then a little bit later they're like do you want to be a werewolf and i'm like fuck yeah they're like you can't be a vampire <laughs> I'm like fuck <laughs> now i can't do this because i did this yeah I All right, so I'm, uh, we'll wrap this up. I know you got your Brawlhalla tournament you get to. Um, if nobody's got any questions in the chat, uh, let us know where we can find you, where we can get some Logic Bomb action at. So twitch.tv slash Logic Bomb, and Logic is L0G1C. Bomb is spelled normally. And, the, the you know, we kind of touched on that before about, you know, coming up with my name. Um, when you're talking electronics computers whatever logic is zeros and ones so that's mm -hmm. that's why i mean partially i would have i would have went just with the word but somebody already had it taken so i settled on the l0 g1c because of the whole logic gate thing um also logic bomb as like a phrase um one is a type of um malicious attack when it comes to computers and also it's like my term for cognitive dissonance you can look it up if you want. Some people don't know what it means, but we're running out of time here, so. <laughs> um, all right, so Twitch, I mean, you're on all the uh, all the other socials too, right? Is it um, the same? Twitter is the same. My Instagram is logicbombttv. And I think that's really all you need to know. I mean, I had my Steam account is logicbomb, but it's not like I'm expecting people to go add me on steam because i'll probably go who the hell is this and not accept it anyway dude yeah. i have like i have 30 pending um xbox game pass requests yeah, like it's crazy it's not happening. so my kids when they lived with me they played on my playstation right they played fortnite and come to find out they would send epic requests to like everybody and like they would get <laughs> invites sent to them all the time so when i signed in with my epic account on the pc I'd i had like in. 75 fucking requests of just people and i was like what the fuck <laughs> and i was looking at the list and i'm like i don't know who this is but so like all these random people were mixed in with people that i do know yeah. and i was like this is terrible all right, dude. Thank you again so much for being here. Um, of course, it's, it's really good to like bring up some really cool stories, and uh, we'll definitely have to shoot the shit again at some point. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, but uh, guys, next week we got a really good uh, a good buddy of ours, uh, Mr. Lefty. He's in the UK, so don't ask me what fucking time because I have no idea yet. Because we got to plan this one accordingly. Um, uh, so um, he'll be here next week. Um, as always, Twizzler803. Say hey, buddy. You're on all socials as Twizzler. I know you got your shit worked out yet? Nope. Nope. Perfect. <laughs> nope. <laughs> awesome. If you know me, it's really hard for me to do socials. I'm I don't I'm not really do that. Yeah, I mean yeah, I get it. I it's... try I try to be as like update as a uh, or up as updated as I can on like the podcast side of things, but like as far as like my own personal one, I don't, but it really would mean a lot to me. Um if you do want to go check out greasygamer.com, uh you can definitely find us on there. Uh and don't forget check out extralife.org, extra-life.org. Uh it's a really amazing charity that goes uh all donations go to your local hospital. Um, and uh, I'm Hefe Plays on everything. 
uh, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, Evan? Big Deadly Grin on everything. If you can't find it, I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that. Um, Put that on a t-shirt. I know. <laughs> uh, like, like I said, if you're part of the Discord, uh, we will be in post-show hangs uh, for a, a little bit. You guys can come hang out. Um, and like we do every time we got somebody on, Logic, who are we uh, going to raid out? Oh, shit. I didn't know you guys did that. Uh, you know what? My buddy Abacus, it's his birthday today. Perfect. It's uh, A B Y K U S underscore. A B Y K U S underscore. Yeah, it's his birthday today. He's doing some Rocket League. Hell yeah, let's read him out. <clears throat> Got that scene? <laughs> 